This vlog is sponsored by Ring. More on them in a few moments. My friends, thanks for joining another vlog. Today we're starting things off in my super studio, which is just a room in my house that I'm building my dream office and workshop and just everything that I want in one place. Now, one of the first things that I built for this room was this uh, electric skateboard rack. And you know, I love that it keeps the boards off the ground and it looks cool, but there's kind of a problem if, uh, If you slam the, if you close the door too hard, the, the boards fall. So yeah, that's, that's, that's not so good. And so as long as I have to maybe rebuild that, I'm thinking, you know what, let's just do something different altogether. Shake it up, because something else that I've wanted for this room is a more dedicated place to lay out my drone bag, so where I can pack it up, make sure I have everything. And of course, once it is packed up, hopefully close it up and put it up somewhere so it's not in the way. Cause I wanna, I wanna use these surfaces for like ongoing projects and working and things like that, not just my bags. So we're gonna turn this wall into a little rack sort of thing for that. I've got an idea, hopefully it works out. But before we get to building, Today's video is actually sponsored. I have a sponsor for this vlog, so. All right guys, so this is a quick, like straight up advertisement because today's vlog is brought to you by Ring Video Doorbell 2. I've got one right here. And I was actually really excited to get to partner with Ring because I'm a big fan of video doorbells. In fact, I already have one on my front door, but they sent me one anyway so that I could be re-familiar with set up and all that stuff. So now my super studio has a video doorbell of its own. What's cool about the ring is that there are terminals on the back where you can wire into your home doorbell, which is what I did for the front door, but there isn't a doorbell for my office. So if you don't want to wire into your doorbell or if you don't have an existing doorbell, there's actually a battery that you can put into it and then it's just battery powered and the battery is supposed to last for months and stuff like that. So even for my office without a doorbell, I can have a camera here. So there's a couple reasons why I like having video doorbells. We've got two now. Uh, one is you know, my car is right here and it helps me keep an eye on my car, which is really nice. So I can always make sure it's all good. Uh, and the biggest reason why I love these things is because of packages. Um, I'm always ordering drone gear and car parts and sometimes this stuff shows up with signature required and if you're not home to sign for it, that is so annoying. And now when someone rings the doorbell, you get a notification on, and my watch is going off, my phone is going off, and you can answer it right on your phone and let them know it's okay to leave your package or hide it somewhere. I use that almost every week that's probably my favorite thing about it. But even if you're not like me, always ordering drone and car stuff, the holiday season is coming up, so you might be doing some shopping, so you still might run into signature required packages, or even if they just leave them, it's really nice to be able to keep an eye on your stuff once it's dropped off, see it get delivered. Just the peace of mind is great. So big thanks to Ring for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the video and build this thing for my office. one and two places to hang packed bags. This is awesome. I'm so proud of how this came out. Hopefully this kind of encourages me to keep things packed up and out of the way. And when, uh, when it's time to actually pack the things up, we can just bring this down. Oh yes. This is awesome. This. I love building things and when they come out good, yeah. Uh, part of the reason that 
I was motivated to finally get this done today was because I've, I, I wanna do like a bag breakdown. Everything that I take with me when I go out flying, I haven't done that in I haven't, probably two years, probably two years since I made a video and a lot of my gear has changed now. I've changed bags entirely. This was the bag that I used to use. It was a low pro, great bag, but I've since switched to this Torval bag. So let's actually get in here and see what's all inside. Um, keep the drone strapped on the outside. And look at this, we can just hang them up. This, this is a great space. This opens up from the front. Now you've got all of your things laid out. I'm now flying the DJI digital FPV system and these goggles are pretty big and that's part of what motivated the switch to this bag is it just fit a bigger form factor goggle a lot better. So those fit in there nicely and so too does the DJI radio, which is what I'm using right now. And then down here, we've got a pouch for the batteries. This is actually, I took this from the low pro bag. Torvald does make a battery pouch, but I kind of prefer the way the low pro one opens, so that's what we're using. Then up here, you know, I've got props just stuck in this open space, but you could use it for other things, like you could put a quad with uh, without props on up there. That's probably the one complaint about this bag, is as you'll see, there's not, there's not a good spot for putting drones inside. I almost always just have the drone strapped to the outside, which is fine. It can be a little bit of a hassle if I'm actually traveling on airlines and stuff because it can be a little trickier to fit it in the overhead bins with the drones on the outside, but it's doable. And if it was a bigger problem, I could probably rearrange the dividers to give me a place to put my drones. But I, I, I like the way they are now because I can just dump a bunch of other stuff in there, like different lenses for my camera, which is nice to have for the vlogging. Uh, your lanyard, definitely want to have that. We've got GoPro batteries, another GoPro, uh, a box of antennas, prop tool, very essential. What else? Electrical tape, great to have. Camera batteries, camera battery charger, and a uh, LiPo to USB, that's useful. And we're pr almost empty. Up here, I like to always have this. This is everything that you need to work on or, I mean, really build an entire quad. You just got your hex drivers, soldering iron, tweezers, cutters, little screwdriver. Pretty confident I could build an entire FPV drone from the ground up just using this stuff. So I like to carry all this stuff with me so that no matter what happens, I can do my repairs in the field. And what else? I guess these side pockets, um, throw some props in there. And this other side pocket, got USB cords and an SD card holder, ND filters for the GoPro. And I think that's everything. Yeah, that's so that's everything that I take with me when I go fly FPV. It kind of seems like a lot, but it's really not too crazy. FPV is just a pretty involved hobby. You need a lot of stuff to do it. So let's actually get all this stuff put back away. All right, this is just so great. So. Love this. Did we forget a pouch? No, there's nothing in here. There's a whole other pouch up here I'm not even using. Love how much space there is in here. So that is my FPV backpack breakdown. Everything that I take with me when I go flying. And since we've actually got it all packed up, let's, why don't we go out and actually fly today? That'd be, be a great thing to do while we've got this Florida weather. All my, all my friends back in Michigan are sending me pictures of all the snow. That's, that's a bummer. All right, just in time for Golden Hour, we're getting to, I think it's my favorite spot in Orlando. Adam's here, Sean's here, dog is here. Got a whole party.
was a really fun session. I feel like that was kind of the best session I've had in a while. I don't know why, just kind of everything was clicking together, feeling really good. Didn't really talk much at the spot because we were chasing the daylight, but got a good amount of packs in, feeling good. So you know it's taco clock. When in doubt, tacos out, all good stuff. Does this still work? All right, at least that works. We'll we'll figure out something for the board. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. I always appreciate you tuning into the vlog, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>